Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I am filming a little swatch with me of my recent polish hauls. I did not have enough time to do the haul videos plus swatches and I do apologize for that. I did have a request for swatches so I'm going to go ahead and start off with the cupcake polishes that I recently picked up. So the first polish that I have is going to be Blue Tourmaline. This polish is described as a super sparkly green full coverage hollow and micro glitter. We're going to go in with the first coat. I haven't swatched these either, so I am definitely in for a surprise. This one is really pretty. I thought it was going to be a little harder to work with because of the glitters in there. But that's actually not bad. It is almost a one coat polish. So that is one coat of blue tourmaline. The next one is another chunky glitter. There's this one in the color Garnet, and it is also a full coverage glitter and micro glitter polish. It is a beautiful, like, deep berry shade. Let's see, oh, this is pretty. Look at that coverage. That is a really pretty color. So that is one coat of garnet. The next one is also a glitter bomb. This one is called Sapphire and it is a sapphire blue hollow and micro glitter polish. Oh this is pretty too. Look at that. Look at the coverage on these. That's beautiful. I'm loving that. That is gorgeous. Just look how sparkly these are. I am very surprised by this. I thought because of their glitter packed formula they were going to be a little hard to apply and it's actually very easy to apply. I'm excited about that. Those are gorgeous. So now we're going to move on to mostly like linear hollow polishes. So the next polish here is this one called Very Good Looking and it is described as a purple linear holographic nail polish. Now in person I feel like this is pink. It's more pink leaning. You guys will have to let me know on your screens what you are seeing but let's go ahead and swatch it. It may be a little more purple than I think it is. It does have a purple hue to it. I still feel like it's more of a pink polish. I had to double check the description on their website and make sure I wrote it down correctly. But I feel like it's almost like an orchid purple. It On camera it does look like it's coming off to be more purple. So that is very good looking. The next one here is this one called getting twiggy with it and it is a gunmetal linear holographic polish. This one is definitely a little more sheer in formula than what the Salon Perfect polish is. So that is getting twiggy with it. Definitely a little more sheer than I initially thought that one was going to be, so we'll have to see how it builds up in two coats. So what I, why I am thinking about it, I wanted to do a quick comparison of getting Twiggy with it with one from Salon Perfect that I have, which is called Don't Give a Glam. This is a beautiful gunmetal holographic polish as well. I feel like they are very similar here in the bottle. So I want to swatch it next to the cupcake polish and see how close they actually are. So I'm going to go in with the first coat of Salon Perfect polish and in person the Salon Perfect base is a darker gunmetal polish. I was just curious. I wanted to see what they looked like side by side. So this one here 
is getting twiggy with it from Cupcake Polish up against the Salon Perfect. The next polish I'm going to go in with is this beauty. This is called Plum Perfect, and it is described as a royal purple linear holographic polish. Oh, this is pretty. Now, this to me is a purple polish, whereas very good looking that we swatched earlier does not seem purple to me. So this is one coat of Plum Perfect. The next one is like an aqua green polish. This is called Water You Doing. It is an aqua blue linear hollow. So this is the first coat of What Are You Doing. This one is a little bit more sheer than what I was expecting. Some of these are more opaque than others I've noticed. You can see here it's a little bit more sheer than say Plum Perfect is. It is very similar to the gunmetal gray polish. So they have different formulas. This one will definitely need build up in two maybe three coats. Moving on to some of our red shades, there is this one in Some Berry to Love, and it is described as a very red linear holographic polish. This is beautiful. So here you could see a little bit difference in formula than what the one previously, that aqua blue shade. This one, this red one is a little bit more pigmented. That aqua blue is a little bit more on the sheer side, so they do very in formula. I didn't realize that, but some of these are going to be a little bit more on the sheer side, as you can see here. The next red one is this one in Appley Ever After. It is another red holographic polish, but it also has gold glitters packed in there, which I thought was interesting. I had to double check their website to make sure that I had all my facts straight for this one. So let's see what this one looks like. Oh, this is pretty. My goodness, wow. This again is another very pigmented polish. That is Appley Ever After. The next one is also kind of another red. There is this one in the color Thankful. This is a brick red linear hollow. Now I thought Appley Ever After says it's a brick red, but I feel like they're a little different in tone if that makes sense. So we have this one in Thankful and then we have the one on the right is Appley Ever After. So they are very, very similar, but I feel like Appley Ever After is a deeper red than what Thankful is. You guys have to let me know in the, in the comments what you think. They're beautiful. And you do have that hint of gold sparkle in Appley Ever After, whereas the color thankful here on the left is just a brick red linear hollow. See how similar this one looks to Appley Ever After. So this one is a much deeper red, as you could tell. This is definitely a more of a brick red, in my opinion. So there you can tell the difference between the two. So we have this one in Appley Ever After. Then there is this one in thankful. So you could tell there's a definite difference there. I didn't think they both looked the same in the bottle, but sometimes you never know. It could fool you when you do swatches. So that is both of those side by side. The next one is a gorgeous blue. This is Fringe Benefits, and this is a stunning sapphire blue linear holographic polish. I don't have anything similar to this in my current collection, and oh my. This is, this is gorgeous. My goodness. So that is one coat of Fringe Benefits. And isn't that just beautiful? Look at that gorgeous color payoff. Beautiful pigmentation. Wow. This is Hot Girl Fall. It is an emerald green linear hollow. It's on my winter rack because I thought this color is going to be perfect for the holidays. It is the beginning of January when I'm filming this, so I don't know how many of these polishes I'll get to, but I do plan to try to at least pull this one out. This one looks like it's going to be absolutely gorgeous. 
and yep it is just as pretty as I hoped it would be so there is hot girl fall beautiful green I love that color I have another chunky polish here this one is called Aurora Borealis and it is described as being a black jelly base filled with multi-chrome and iridescent flakies and hollow micro flakies. This has so many different colors going on. I can see teal, I can see gold, yellow, orange, purple, blue, and pink in here. Hoping it's coming off on camera that you guys can actually see that. This is gorgeous. This one will be a little bit on the chunky side, so I imagine it's probably going to dry rather textured. And it does apply like a glitter packed polish. But I love all of the colors in there. Look at that. So that is one coat of Aurora Borealis. So many gorgeous colors going on in this. It is beautiful. And the last one here is this polish in Bloodhound. This is described as a deep burgundy linear hollow polish. This again is another gorgeous polish. Oh wow, this is pretty. With this one, as you guys can hopefully see on camera there, it's very, very opaque. This would definitely be one you could probably do just one coat and there you go. So that is one very well pigmented coat bloodhound. That is gorgeous. That is what each of these looks like. Some of these are drying down a little bit to like a demi matte finish. The glitter packed polishes, if you guys can see here, are going to be more of a semi matte and they have a little bit of texture to them. So you'll want a glitter smoother top coat with those polishes or a couple layers of a good top coat. We'll let these dry and come back for coat number two. Okay, guys, we are back for coat number two for all of the cupcake polish swatches. This is what everything is looking like in the first coat. Absolutely gorgeous polishes. These are beautiful. So we're going to start off with our more textured polishes, the glitter packed polishes. So that color we're going to go in with first is this one in blue tourmaline. Again, you will want a glitter smoother top coat with these because they are glitter bomb polishes. So there is the second coat of blue tourmaline, a gorgeous color. This one in garnet. That second coat deepens this polish really, really nicely. It is so opaque. I love that deep berry burgundy shade is the second coat. Really deepened it up. It's really pretty. Then we have this one in Sapphire, which is this blue, beautiful Sapphire blue polish. second coat does wonders for this. As you can see, it's darkening up absolutely beautifully. That is, they look so pretty when they're built up to two coats. The opacity is astonishing. That is what those look like. Then we're going to move on to all of our linear hollows. So we have this polish here, which is very good looking. This does deepen that up and upon swatching it, I see a little bit more purple than what I thought. It still almost has that orchid purple feel to it. It is not as purple as say this polish here is. So that is what very good looking looks like. It is really pretty. That is absolutely gorgeous. And so the next one is that gunmetal gray, which is this one getting twiggy with it. This does deepen up that color also. It is a little bit more sheer pigmentation wise than what I thought it was going to be. It is a really fun color. I love colors like this. As you guys know, if you've been following me, so 
This is that Salon Perfect one I talked about. That's been one of my favorite linear holographic polishes from Salon Perfect. So when I got this one from Cupcake, I thought, are they going to be similar? They are similar in a sense. I'm going to go ahead and add a second coat of that Salon Perfect one just so you guys can see what they look like side by side in case you would happen to have the Salon Perfect polish and you're interested in the cupcake one. So this is what that second coat of the Salon Perfect one looks like. And upon doing this, these colors do look similar here. I do feel like this one from Cupcake might have a hint more shimmer payoff than what the one from Salon Perfect does. I feel like there's definitely more shimmer in this one from Cupcake Polish. They look very similar on the swatch, but again, this has more shimmer, so I think I like the shimmer payoff in this one much better. So the next one from Cupcake is this Plum Purple called Plum Perfect. The quality of these polishes is really, really nice. I, this is what that beautiful deep purple looks like. That is gorgeous. So opaque, fully opaque in two coats. So that is Plum Perfect. And then we're going to go in with this aqua shade. This is called What Are You Doing? This. So let's see what two coats looks like. That does build up really nicely with this. As you can see, it is getting deeper in color, more pigmented, and more opaque. So that is What Are You Doing in two coats. Really pretty colors. Then we're going to get into some of our red polishes. So this next one is Some Berry to Love, and it is a very red linear hollow, which is this one right here. Let's see how this one looks. This is a beautiful berry tone polish. I don't have anything quite like this in my collection, so I was ecstatic to add this one. So that is two coats of some berry to love. Then we're going to go in with Appley Ever After, which is the brick red hollow polish with the gold glitter in it. So let's see what this looks like. Oh, that's building up pretty. Look at that. The pigmentation of these. The opacity on here. Oh my gosh. So that is Appley Ever After. The next red one is this one in Thankful, and that is this polish here. This is also a brick red polish, but it's a different color of a brick red. As you can see here, the red in Appley Ever After is much more of that apple-based red, in my opinion, compared to what Thankful looks like. So this is the second coat of Thankful. Definitely a difference, which I'm excited about. And then you do have the gold glitters in Appley Ever After. So they are not similar in the least, which is always good to know. I was afraid I'd have kind of dupes with these. So the next one is this sapphire blue called Fringe Benefits. And I know I'm going to fall in love with this one. I love blue polishes like this. I don't know what it is. I just love colors like that. When I wear polishes that are that shade of blue, all I do is stare at my nails the entire time I have them on, this polish on. So, oh wow, this is beautiful. Really, really pretty. Look at that. Look at that pigmentation. So that is two coats of Fringe Benefits. All of these look rather opaque in two coats. I don't think I'm going to go in for three with any of these. They're just so pretty. They deepen up so nicely. So that is Fringe Benefits. And we're going to move on to the Emerald Green Polish, which is called Hot Girl Fall. And this is that Emerald Green Linear Hollow that I definitely will be pulling out next to wear. The manicure that I currently have on probably won't stay on after today just because I'm not loving it. And I feel like these colors are, I'm dying to get them on my nails, so. So there is that one in Hot Girl Fall. Beautiful color. 
absolutely stunning. Then we've got the glitter bomb in this line. There is this one here. This is Aurora Borealis. I'm excited to wear this one. I think in my opinion I would wear this one over like a black base because you're going to have to build it up. You can see here it's definitely sheer in the first coat. We'll see what it looks like in two coats. As I said in the beginning, I have not swatched these yet, so I don't know how any of them actually look. Two coats builds it up really nicely. And with polishes like this, for me, that are glitter packed and are chunky, I generally put them over something else so I don't have to build up quite so much. So that is two coats of Aurora Borealis. And the final polish for this portion of the haul is this one called Bloodhound. This is that beautiful deep berry linear hollow. If you guys do not have any polishes from Cupcake Polish, I definitely would be hard pressed to tell you, go get some of the hollow polishes. They're beautiful. You can see here, this polish is building up amazingly in two coats. So that is two coats of Bloodhound. You can see they're just, they build up beautifully. Absolutely gorgeous. These glitter polishes, as I said, they're going to be textured, so you'll want a glitter smoother top coat. But that is everything in two coats. Let me know which one you guys are eyeing to pick up. These are just so pretty. Prettier than I thought they were going to be. They are gorgeous. Just beautiful polishes. I will try to list everything down below. Everything is available on the website at the time I'm filming this. So let me know in the comments what you guys think, which ones are speaking to you, which ones you may be putting on your wish list. Hope you guys have a great week. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and I'll see you in the next one.